to push in my eyes and piss on my chest. You don't want to find the kind of guy that's just special and loves you. But the whole idea behind going to the, the potato processing plant to talk to immigrants was to, you know, again, get their, you know, their opinion on, you know, all this racism and the stealing British jobs. We went outside of Perth to a fucking potato farm. <laughs> like, oh, all right, we'll go talk to fucking Polish immigrants. We get way out and it's cow shit stinking. We get a big warehouse and there's a, a pit with six conveyor belts and they have to work. They're just looking at potatoes come through and they're trying to find faulty potatoes. Just <laughs> nine hours a day, they just stare at hundreds of potatoes trying to find what's wrong with one of them. Is <laughs> when do we get a break? Lunch time is about 12 o'clock. What time is it? It's an hour. How do you say I quit in Polish? I quit? I quit. No mas. Oh. That's good. Yeah. I quit. That's what it's supposed to I quit. See, they won't, teach him, they won't teach him how to say that. We went there with a purpose. Here's the point. Six conveyor belts, six people working of them, two dudes, four chicks, Polish. The chicks are fucking hot. Like, like really hot. Not hot for potato workers, but like legitimately fucking night shift titty dancer, hot, hot. And you're going, and like fucked up the whole reason for being there. Like, holy, what the fuck are you doing? See, what's baffling is if you pan back, they're all very beautiful women. <laughs> For God's sakes, you finally get hot chicks in this country. <laughs> what do you do with them? You send them away. You're fucking that pig next to you every night that you had to settle for. <laughs> Meanwhile, hot chicks are coming in on boats, and what do you do? You ship them off to a farm somewhere where they, they have to fucking spot check dirt apples for flaws, and you're fucking the fucking skank that you're with going, I can't believe these immigrants are taking our job. <laughs> they're, fucking, they're, fucking, they're wicked hot. I tell you what, I'm gonna leave you my number, and if you're not out of here in six months, you call me and I'll bust you out. <laughs> Be a jailbreak. Well, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go make sure I punched in, and I'll be right back. You can't do that in the States. You can't get a hot chick to do shit in the States. <laughs> you just wanna say, and I, I couldn't, because it would sound rude with broken English, but you're like, you wanna just nudge him and go, why are you counting potatoes? Suck a dick. <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude, but God's sake, suck a dick. I don't, <laughs> just, like, just one dick. One dick is worth a thousand potatoes. <laughs> All that fear and the fact that they're taking our job, any fear that they're selling you, that people, I, I, I don't think they can produce fear fast enough for, the way people want to buy it. People want to buy into that fear. Oh, these mongrel races are taking our jobs and the terrorist is trying to blow up my own fucking moped and bird flu is uh, gonna wipe out my village and pedophiles are trying to fuck my kids. That fear is more comfortable for you to live in than the actuality that you're probably gonna go through your whole life without anything memorable happening at all. <laughs> that's a, statistically, that's probably what's gonna happen. Nothing of significance. <laughs> Way easier to buy in a fear. Here they come, they're coming after us. Get a better security system, get a bigger knife, get me a gun. <laughs> no. <laughs> probably gonna go home with her tonight and say, yeah, he's right, we really should but tomorrow, you wake up, sober, shitty job, offer you a few more dollars if you stay for a few more years. You'll have an awful fucking ugly child. Show pictures of it. 
about 47, they'll find it. You'll have like a blood clot in your thigh, and they'll have a procedure, and then that'll be like the big thing you milk. Well, that one time, there was one time I really did have a fear for my life. I had a blood clot, and that's all that's gonna fucking happen to you. There's so many good things in the world to hate that you should hate, and you're distracted because of all this nonsense. The reason that I can't smoke a cigarette right now is because of some douchebags at City Hall or a local parliament or whatever the fuck they call it here. Why aren't 60,000 people showing up at those meetings every week instead of football and booing them and cursing them and causing street fights because they said, maybe we should have no smoking in bars. All the anger that they have at them, they take out on other races or other teams or other countries. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's right here at home, the people that are fucking you for real. I know I complain about this place every time I come here. I know Scotland, yes, it's beautiful. <laughs> There's a lot of history here, but I don't see a lot of future. And I always, I, I feel bad, because when I come here, I, I really do hate it so much, and not the audiences, but everything else. I hate it so much, I feel bad for complaining. And people go, well, if you hate it so much, why do you keep coming here? Because that's where comedy works, where people are the most depressed and miserable. <laughs> that's where comedy is at the highest value. I'd much rather be doing comedy on a beach in a tiki bar in Costa Rica right now, but they don't have comedy there. They don't need comedians, because they're already smiling, naturally. <laughs> comedy works where people are miserable, and for that reason alone, you are the best audiences on Earth. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Well, 10 past 1 tonight, there's lots of foreplay with the Wombats. Thank God they're good looking. Next up, Steve Jones with the Kaisers and a Robin. Transmission with T-Mobile is almost plugged in. <laughs> 